Right, before we look at reverse percentages, what I want to do is look at a forward going percentage, okay? Really easy work that you would have done in your, you know, your nine, you know, really straightforward work. The price, it says here, let's just look at a couple of questions. The price of a digital radio originally priced at £132 is increased by 12%. Calculate the increased price of the digital radio. So basically, that's the original price here. They're telling you that, aren't they? The original price is 132 um, and then it's increased by 12%. Now, what you normally do, of course, is you work out 12% of this and then add it on. Another way, of course, of doing this, as we've seen before, is just think about your original price as representing the full price, 100%, and then we add on 12%, okay? So that becomes 112%. So you can straight away work out 112% of the 132 to get your answer. So that'll be 1.12. Okay, that's what, that, you know, change it to a decimal. 112% is 1.12 times 132. And you get your answer straight away, okay? It's much quicker, isn't it? Okay, it's much quicker to get the, the increased price, to get the new price, it's much quicker to actually, instead of working out 12% of this and then, you know, adding it on 132, just go straight for 112% of this because you're actually increasing it by 12% and you get your answer straight away. Similarly here, right, with the second question, a store is reducing the price of all its goods by 15%. What would the selling price of a computer that was originally priced, okay, at £460? Okay, so now in this case, it's reduced, it's going down. So what we would normally do is work out 15% of this and then take it away, yeah? Because it's reduced. But you don't need to do that. You, you, you can think of, as I said, the original price, right, be representing 100%. And then if we're re decreasing, reducing by 15%, we can take 15% away. So we end up with 85%. So we want to work out 85% of the original price, right? The original price, which is 460. And we get... Okay, so 0 0.85 times 460, okay, times the original price. You get then, straight away, yeah, you get the new price, all right? So it's much easier, isn't it? Rather than working out 15% of this, right, which I think comes out to be um, 69 pounds, and then you'd have to take it away. Rather than doing that, just, just take 15% off the original, which we thinking of in terms of 100%. So ultimately we need to work out 85% of 460 and it comes out straight away, much easier.